cream of cauliflower soup. Cauliflower, amazing stuff for potatoes. I think it is anyway. So it's it really works well. Look at how easy this recipe is. First off, I have like this makeshift MacGyver operation going with the thing. So like, I love you know, it. literally. I love the so I, I, I'm, I'm doing what I can here. So I'm gonna <laughs> add in literally two heads of cauliflower to my instant pot. <laughs> That's all like, you know, just chopped up, you know, roughly or so like that. I'm gonna add in three cups of vegetable broth to the pot. And then from there, I'm gonna add in some cloves of garlic that's roasted. roasted this is also in my book. Roasted yes! And it's, and magic, it's in my first chapter magic. of my book. Yeah, Matt, it's the first chapter of my book. I explain how to do this in the pot. It's so the easy, magic. it's delicious. You could literally just eat this as it is. It's that good, right? Yes, yep. I'm gonna put the lid right on top of the pot, like, like, like just like this. I'm gonna set my time, I'm gonna hit the pressure cook button. Every model's a little different. And I'm gonna go literally for just five minutes. And that's it, five minutes. Make sure I'm in the ceiling position. Walk away, that's do what incredible. you want. Do some, do some sit-ups with my dog right to, now. You can only listen to one song and do a hundred sit-ups in that time, but okay. <laughs> seriously, seriously, you know it. <laughs> so let's get this one out of the way. Let's, let's, let's fast forward the time and be magic. Okay. And I'm gonna just remove okay. this for a second. And let's go to our finished product here. I'm a little out of frame now, okay, perfect. And I've released the steam already, so that's done. And there's my soup. Well, not quite yet, but we're nice. gonna get there. What I'm yeah. gonna do now, Rachel, is I wanna reserve half my cauliflower, okay? Just use a slotted spoon right. for this, this is easy. And just put it inside, try to leave the garlic in there if possible, a dish or a bowl, just like this. Okay, is and that for texture? Is that, is that to give it some different texture? That's exactly why we're doing it. So we can give it some, you know, you can have some body to it there. And you can li right. literally use as little as much as you want. And I want it to be just like this. I don't want it to be like super big and right. chunky. You want it to be nice and soft, right? When you, you know, when you go right. into the cauliflower and you bite into it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna season this up and I'm gonna season it after I pressure cook because I want it to really pack the flavor punch in there. Yes. I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of seasoned salt, which actually has less sodium than regular salt. Right. Believe it or not, I mean, it's- less, yes. Yep. Right, and it's so much more flavorful to me anyway. In this soup, I'm gonna add in uh, a teaspoon of garlic powder because not you can't get enough garlic in this one. Plus, it's a great immunity booster, as we know. Uh, I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of some black pepper and a teaspoon of some Italian seasoning, and then I'm gonna take my stick and I'm gonna blend all of this <laughs> and puree it in my pot, just like this. Get it nice and smooth, and this takes very quick. You, you, this gets done in 20 seconds. Now it's time to give this some cream, you know what I mean? Now, the book tailors many, many lifestyles. I touch on keto, paleo, gluten-free, you know, uh, dairy-free. I'm using two cups of a non-dairy milk, and that can be almond milk, cashew milk, soy milk, whatever you want. However, if you're keto, feel free to put the heavy cream in there because you know you're allowed to do that with keto, right? That's right. That's totally oh, up to you. Good tip. Right. Good tip. Right. So, but, but I'm going to use the non-dairy, okay, for this situation. Let's keep it for our dairy-free friends, you know? Gotcha. So I'm adding that to there. I'm adding in, because I'm adding this for a nice creamy touch also, this is optional, to about one to two tablespoons of some ghee, which is clarified butter, which yes. basically is butter. Yeah, butter with the, um, the milk solids are boiled off, so it keeps it paleo as well. It's like the one dairy thing that could be paleo. So I'm adding that in there. And a little tip, how cute is this? For ghee, I made my own ghee. It's also in my first chapter. Yay, and what I do, look Rachel, at look at this, a little silicone thing, and it pops right out, like a little cute little ghee. I mean, I'm not gonna Very eat this cool. like I did the garlic. We're gonna just add in um, a quarter cup of Parmesan Reggiano, as you taught me to say the last yes, time I was on the show. Yes, Parmigiano Reggiano. Yes, of course, of course. And then <laughs> from there, I'm gonna add in um, about a bunch of chives or so, like however Yum. much you want. And then I'm gonna stir back in my reserved cauliflower because nice. you know you wanna give it some texture. And then we're just gonna give it like a final stir here. And oh my god, Jeffrey, it's so beautiful, honestly. It's it's really My easy. And then the, and they... cam, it looks amazing. <laughs>